Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about setting up SMTP service with ClickFunnels, so that way you can send emails from ClickFunnels. Now, the first question you should probably ask yourself is, should I actually be worrying about setting up an SMTP service with ClickFunnels? And really, the only two reasons that I can think of that you would do this is if you're using the, the follow-up funnels or ActionX tool within ClickFunnels, you'll need to set up an SMTP service if you're using follow-up funnels. Alternatively, if you're doing evergreen webinars, you might need to set up an SMTP service because the automations that ClickFunnels offers with their evergreen webinars, uh, they, they play nicely together and you would need an SMTP service to do that. Otherwise, I recommend usually just using your third-party autoresponder tool. My, my personal favorite is ActiveCampaign. So basically I connect, you know, when somebody buys something, uh, submits that information over to active campaign if somebody opts in for a lead magnet it goes into active campaign and i just handle all my emails from active campaign and i don't have any need really to be using the click funnels and smtp service with click funnels so i just want to put that out there first thing first question to ask yourself is do i need to actually do this uh, and more than likely you probably don't really need to unless, yeah, follow-up funnels or evergreen webinars. And so real quick, let me show you where the SMTP service comes into play. So if you are on a page and it has an automation tab here, so for example, automation, uh, right here, these automations are are fired and they go through the SMTP service that you connect to ClickFunnels. So if you're sending automation emails through ClickFunnels, this is where the SMTP service comes into play. Again, I just push all order information, all lead information in the active campaign, and I do my automations over there, so I don't even mess with this stuff. But if you wanted to do uh, emails out of ClickFunnels, this is where the that, that happens. Um, if you come over to products as well, let's go in here, and I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one product real quick. And if we come over to fulfillment email here, so this fulfillment email, if you have an SMTP uh, configuration set up with ClickFunnels, it will come from your SMTP service. However, if you don't set up an SMTP provider, um, it can still send a fulfillment email. And these fulfillment emails are like, hey, thank you for your purchase. Here's where you go to access the membership site so you can log in and you know access your purchase or something like that. Alternatively, you could just you know send that information over to ActiveCampaign and that sends the welcome email or the fulfillment email and you don't need to go through this at all. So if you don't set up an SMTP service, you can still send fulfillment emails if you wanna do that. And then if you do set up an SMTP service, it'll go through uh, your SMTP service or these fulfillment emails will go through your SMTP service. Um, so I just want to point that out there that you don't need it for these fulfillment emails. And then while we're here, let me show you the follow-up action. So this right here, this is where you can go ahead and integrate with like Active Campaign or Aweber or some other third-party autoresponder tool um, for sending your email. So there's like Aweber there, Active Campaign, Drip. Uh, get response convert kit so you see that it integrates with a bunch of these services already and to be honest they they do things better than click funnels does don't tell click funnels i told you that but yeah I, I recommend becoming familiar with uh an automation tool so anyway that's the automation tab the fulfillment emails and a bit about integrations and all that stuff so anyway let's come over here and get into the smtp stuff so let's go to account settings real quick and we need to scroll on down here to email integrations smtp so click that option and then what we wanna go ahead and do is click the transactional and marketing button right here because we will be sending you know transactional and marketing emails because hey, we might, might be trying to sell something. So transactional and marketing. And now we need to go ahead and integrate our SMTP settings. So to do that, first things first, we need to go ahead and select an SMTP service to use. And what I use and recommend is Mailgun. And one of the main reasons I use it besides, you know, good deliverability, good, tracking options and all that type of stuff is that it's affordable. Some of these other SMTP services, you gotta pay a lot of money up front in order to get them going. Mailgun, you pay for what you use, so I like that a lot. Plus, they also give you 5,000 free emails per month for three months, then only pay for what you send. So you get a free 5,000 emails you know, for three months, well, 15,000 15, emails for the first three months, and then you pay as you go. So I like that a lot, especially if you're not sending a lot of emails. You know, It's not worth spending you know, $35 a month if you're not sending you know, $35 a month worth of emails, right? So that's, that's why I like Mailgun. So come over to Mailgun, and I'll have a link in the description below it's not an affiliate link they don't have an affiliate program so uh, go ahead sign up so we'll hit start sending here and then just go through the process here so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out real quick 
And if you are going with Mailgun, it does ask you if you want to provide your payment information now. And I recommend going ahead and adding this information because it won't let you send emails until you provide credit card information. Even though they give you 5,000 emails a month for the first three months, that's only if you enter your payment information first. So you got to do that. So might as well do it while you're, you're in the checkout process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And more than likely, the plan you want to go ahead and select is the Flex Trial Plan. So you just make sure that that option is selected over here and it should be $0 and pay as you go. And then we're going to go ahead and do Create Account. And then we have to go through a few activation steps like verifying our email address and adding and verifying our domain. So we're going to do that real quick. And so I verified my email address and it brought me to this page right here. So now I have to verify my domain. So come up to Sending here and we want to go to Domains. And then we want to go ahead and click on the Add New Domain button in the top right corner here. And then it, it recommends that we create a subdomain for our email sending. So it might be something like emails.cfcoursev4.com. So that could be you know a good domain to be sending your email emails from. And if you're domain in business and most of your customers are based in the US, make sure you select US here. If you're based in Europe, go ahead and do EU right here. And then we'll go ahead and leave everything else to default and do add domain. And now it gives us a few steps to go ahead and integrate with our DNS provider or wherever we registered our domain. So it gives us a few options here like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Network Solutions, Rackspace, etc. So if you need help you know, finding where you edit your DNS settings, they have instructions here. Alternatively, I'll be doing it inside of of, uh, Namecheap in this video. So if you have Namecheap, then this is how it works. So the first thing we need to do is add a, a text record called emails and cfcoursev4.com and it contains this little bit of information here. So copy that real quick and we'll come on in here and we're going to do add a record and we want a text record. So text record and host will be emails and then we throw in our the text that we copied and we'll keep it automatic and we'll hit check and then we'll go back over to mailgun real quick and scroll on down and we'll select the next bit of information so we have another text record that contains this information here so let's do add new record and text record throw that in there and then we got to go grab the this snippet here so we'll grab all that information paste it in there hit check and then we'll come back to Mailgun. And I'm gonna go ahead and do verify DNS settings real quick to see if these first two have taken. So I'll click the verify DNS button. And we see I have two green check marks here. So those, those went through properly, awesome. Moving on down here, we gotta go ahead and set up some MX records. So we come back over to our domain registrar. And here, uh, Namecheap and go into mail settings because MX records are mail settings. And I wanna go to custom MX here. So select that and then come back over here. So host name is emails and priority 10. And then we have our value there. So we have host of emails and the stuff we copied or the information we copied from Mailgun right there. Priority 10, automatic, save all changes. And then we'll go ahead and add another new record and go in here, emails 10, and we'll copy this little bit of code and come back over here. So this is also emails. And then it's MXB Mailgun Priority 10. And we'll go ahead and hit check. And then we'll come back over here and we're gonna go ahead and do verify DNS settings again. Make sure that this, the MX records have taken. And so apparently that all worked because it took me to this page right here, which basically means it's all configured. So just to verify, we could come back over to setting and go to domains and you should see your domain inside of Mailgun now, and it should have that check mark here. So it says, great, this domain is verified and ready to use. So if you see that, that means you know it worked. Then we need to come over here to SMTP and hit select here, and you'll see some, some settings here that we're gonna need for ClickFunnels. So come back over to ClickFunnels now, and now we can go ahead and enter in the information that ClickFunnels needs for your domain integration or your SMTP integration. And the first thing we wanna go ahead and do is name our integration. So I'm just gonna call it Mailgun. And then we have our from name. So this is the name that you're sending from. So Nathan Williams. And then your from email address. So Nathan at cfcoursev4.com. And then SMTP server information. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this from Mailgun. So SMTP server is this right here, so host name. SMTP port, come back over here, 587, so 587. SMTP user, come back over here, we have this username, so go ahead and copy that. 
and we want to paste it in here. SMTP password. It's this long thing right here, which I probably blurred out. And we paste that in there. And SMTP domain, that's where we're going to go ahead and throw in the domain that you verified within Mailgun. So that's emails.cfcoursev4.com for me. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Emails. And then we need to go ahead and choose a domain. So we'll choose the domain that is associated with this uh, SMTP account. So cfcoursev4. And then you want to throw in your address here. So throw that information information in. And finally, it asks us to include an SMTP footer and it gives us a little bit of inf information here. So we need to include a physical address and we also need to include an option to unsubscribe. And there's this little snippet of text that I'll go ahead and include in the description below this video that you can go ahead and use. But basically it, you know, you put in your company name, address, telephone number, if that's relevant, and then you need an unsubscribe option. And this HTML makes it, you know, nice and centered in your emails that are going out. So you can go ahead and add that. If this is your default SMTP integration, you'd go ahead and flip the switch there to turn that on and you'll hit save SMTP integration. And now we wanna go ahead and test this. So let's click into it real quick. And you come over here and you hit verify email settings. And you should see a message that says, email settings are good. We've sent you a test email. Make sure you save your SMTP settings to enable sending. So you go to the email address where you registered for your ClickFunnels account and you'll make sure that you received an email. So right here you see that I received mine. So your SMTP settings and ClickFunnels are verified and it tells you that it is working. So awesome. Our SMTP configuration is set up. Now we can go ahead and you know connect it to our funnels. I'll show you that real quick, uh, just in case you need to know how to do it. So we'll come in here and we'll open up my dummy funnel and we'll wait for it to load and we want to go to our funnel level settings which is in the blue area up here so settings and under smtp configuration you want to go ahead and make sure that the the appropriate smtp configuration is selected and it automatically updated and selected mailgun for me which is the one we just set up so we're good i'll just scroll on down here save and update settings and now uh, ClickFunnels will send emails through the, the SMTP service if I'm using follow-up funnels or action edX, or if I'm using the automations tab over here, the emails will come through my SMTP service or server, or, which is Mailgun. And also if I use those fulfillment emails under the product settings, it will also go through my SMTP service. So that's how you go ahead and integrate ClickFunnels with the SMTP service. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.